It is not time to get to the heart of the ceremony, to the part that we all wait, are waiting for. Uh, so this is a night where the awards night, that's when we're um, giving the award, academic and special awards to our students. To confer the special awards upon uh, the student, the class of 2010, I now ask our head of school, Ms. Jane Camley, to please come up to the podium. Okay. Thank you, Madame Rabatte. Dear highly talented students of the eighth grade class of 2010, the high school class of 2014, and the college class of 2018. It's a privilege to be able to present the three special awards to some of you this evening. I hope you know that because of your education in the bilingual immersion programs at French American, how unique, how cognitively mature, and how intellectually sophisticated you now are compared with most students your age. For a start, research tells us that your brains have already changed in shape, in size, and in capacity because you are bilingual. And that, as a result, you will continue to outscore your monolingual friends, not just on language tests, but on just about every academic and creative measure. In other words, as you all by now have measurably bigger brains than your peer monolingual students, you will go on to inevitably ace the math, science, logic, and creativity tests that you'll encounter in high school and college. And looking beyond college, recent <coughs> studies have also shown that adult bilingual speakers are better able to deal with distractions in the workplace than those who speak only a single language. And that mastery of two languages may help offset age-related declines in mental performance. These studies conducted in Canada, India, and Hong Kong determined that individuals who spoke two languages and used both with almost equal proficiency did better than monolingual volunteers on tests that measured how quickly they could perform while distracted. The experiments showed that bilingual speakers of Cantonese and English, of Tamil and English, and of French and English consistently outperformed English-only speakers. From these results, scientists hypothesize that the ability to hold two languages in the mind at the same time might account not only for greater self-control and discipline, but also for the development of superior memories for the storing and processing of information. Furthermore, as a class representing France, Japan, Mexico, Spain, Korea, England, Russia, El Salvador, South Africa, Paraguay, Iran, and the United States, you are literally a walking embodiment of the notions of internationalism and diversity so central to the mission of our school. You have long grown to appreciate the kinds of differences in others that many do not appreciate until they are much older, if they ever do. But cast your mind back to the very first sleepover you had in kindergarten perhaps with someone sitting on this very stage with you today. Your best friend's mother asks you if you would like a tuna fish salad sandwich. Your own mother gives you tuna fish salad sandwiches all the time, and so you say, sure. But when you bite into this sandwich, you realize that your best friend's mother's tuna fish salad sandwich tastes nothing like the one you get at home. You never dreamed it was possible for there to be one more way to prepare tuna fish salad. And what's with the bread? It's brown and it has tiny seeds in it. And what's ultimately unnerving is that your best friend obviously thinks his mother's tuna fish salad is perfectly normal. Later on, you will discover that the pillows at your friend's house are stuffed with feathers instead of foam rubber stuff. That the soap is pumped from a dispenser and not a bar. That the toilet paper is pink and not white. What kind of human beings are these? 
and at two o'clock in the morning, you throw up and your mother comes and takes you home. <laughs> One could argue that high school, from which more than 3.2 million students have just graduated this year, is basically just a sleepover with grades. At high school, it is not so cool to throw up and for your mother or father to come and take you home. But for you, our graduates of French America, you are all now more than prepared for the fabulous surprises and challenges that await you in that smorgasbord of life called ninth grade. You are all already more than familiar with change, with the many significant historical events that have taken place outside the four walls of our campus while you were in middle school. As sophisticated observers of, travelers to, and participants in the world around you, you are no strangers to tsunamis, hurricanes, earthquakes, oil spills, volcanoes, a collapsed economy, and a remarkable presidential election. While most other students your age are just learning how to make tuna salad sandwiches, use Bart and rise in Muni, you can easily find your way through the fishing villages of Normandy to find the best boulangerie. You can confidently roam the lesser known streets of Montparnasse in search of the perfect chocolat chaud. And you can nonchalantly navigate airports in Latin America, China, Europe, the United States. In fact, anywhere in the world you choose to go.